Kia ora and welcome to this video. My name is Becca if you're new here. If not, I usually do videos about our move from the US to New Zealand and just a lot of vlogs about life in general. But today I wanted to make a video about some of our favorite things to do in and around Auckland because we have lived here for over a year and a half now and there's just so many fun things to do and to see and to eat and I just, it's time, it's time to make a video. So there's no way that I could list them all and I'm sure that there are many, many places that we haven't even discovered yet. So if I leave your favorite place off of this list, then please feel free to comment down below. My last note about a lot of these food options is that they have a lot of really good veggie and vegan options because that is mostly how we eat. The way that I have this video organized is by region because one of my very favorite things to do is to pair a couple or even a few of these together and to make a whole morning or a whole day of it because there's nothing better. So the first region I'm going to talk about is West Auckland Waitakere Range because it is one of my favorite areas of Auckland. First thing is when we head out to the Piha area we love to stop in Titerangi probably saying that incorrectly. But there are just a couple of really good little cafes there. Some of our favorites are Deco Eatery. They have the most delicious hokey pokey coffee and it's a Turkish restaurant and so you can get really good Turkish food. And right around the corner from that is the Stripe Cafe and they have, again, really good food. And then if you wanted to just make a little morning of this area, there's some really cool bush walks just right down the road. Zigzag Track is one of our favorites and it's just a lot of fun. If you continue further, there is the beautiful Peacock Beach. I think this is one of my very favorite places. The beach itself is black sand. All of these beaches on the West Coast, I'm going to throw this disclaimer in, they're very dangerous to swim in, but they are just so rugged and wild and beautiful and we love going out there. You should never really try to go swimming there unless you are experienced or trying to surf or something. But one time we did get lucky and the lifeguards were there, they had the flags out and there were a ton of people out swimming. So we went and did it and it was one of the best of our life. It was so much fun. There are a couple of really good tiny tiny little walks. You can walk up Lion Rock and get a beautiful view of the whole area. And then there's also the Tasman Lookout. So you can just walk right up there and it has the most beautiful sunsets you could ever dream of. Another great experience that you can do here is there's a really delicious ice cream cart. <laughs> they have some of the most yummy ice cream. So definitely try them out. Something else that we always try to pair with our Piha excursion is the Kita Kita Falls. They're just right down the road and it's just a fun little bushwalk. It's not too terribly difficult or long. It actually has tracks that go to the bottom of the falls and all the way up to the top. You get both views and they're both spectacular and it is just such a fun and very beautiful experience that I can't recommend enough. So a separate day hike. <laughs> if you want to go and start at Northern Piha, you can actually take a lot of little tracks all the way up to White's Beach. This is a very secluded and beautiful beach and it almost feels like a private beach like every time we go to it there's nobody else there and then if you want to be super adventurous you can go even further all the way up to Anafata Beach and it's just a really fun whole day hike. My one note about this is that you absolutely have to check the tides because if the tides are high it's inaccessible for many parts of it. Another great little morning walk that you can do in this area is Mercer Bay Loop. There's just all these different tracks that you can go around and it just has some of the most beautiful and majestic views of the coast. I told you that this is one of our very favorite areas because I just have so many places to recommend. But the next one has to be Kari Kari Beach. It is such a beautiful beach. They've actually filmed movies here before and they have the Kari Kari Waterfall that you can't miss. It's just right off of the car park. And if you actually continue a little bit further, there's the Fatipu Beach. And I have to say that this has to be one of my very favorite beaches. The times that we go, it is always totally stranded and empty and it's just such a peaceful place. And it's just very beautiful. I don't know what else to say about it. There are so, so many hikes and beautiful waterfalls and tracks and tramps in this whole area. So I haven't done them all and I can't tell you all of them. You definitely cannot go wrong going to this area. The next place that I have on my list is actually Bethel's Beach area. There's a ton to do right in this area, but I will make the note that it is a completely different road. So it's a very different day trip. Like you can't go from Peacock to Bethel's Beach very easily. In Bethel's Beach area, you have the beautiful black sand beaches that have cool little tunnels that you can access during low tide. And then they also have the Tehanga walkway, which is such a beautiful and stunning walkway. You go up and then along the coast and you just get these beautiful views of the coast, both up and down it. And it is just gorgeous. 
gorgeous. Also, right off of the same car park, you can go and run up and down the sand dunes. And then if you continue along the sand dunes, there's actually a lake there that I've heard you can go swimming in. We haven't actually done that. The last place that I will talk about in this region are the Gannett Colonies in Murawai. I'm going to say that I recommend to go once. We did, and it's a fun experience, if not a little bit stinky. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a ton of gannet birds that just live in their little colonies and it's a pretty cool place to go and see. So now that we are done with my very large recommendations list of the West Auckland area, I'm going to move down to South Auckland. I will be the first to admit that I feel like I haven't explored this area enough, but one of my favorite things to do is to go to the Hill House Cafe. They have some delicious and amazing pastries and it's really fun because it's actually built in an old homestead and they've turned it into an art studio. So it's just a really fun place to actually go and hang out. And then just a couple minutes down the road, you have the and botanic gardens and this is just a really great place to run around especially if you have young kids it's all enclosed and well kept up and so beautiful some other places that are really great if you have kids there's the Ambury farms it's just a fun place to go you can go and pet all the sheep and you know you can see the cows being milked there's also Manicow steamers which runs every Sunday and it's just a really great place to go if you have young kids it's these little steam engine trains and kids absolutely love it so that's a really great morning activity another place that I wish we have explored more of is the Hanua region there's a bunch of bush walks and really beautiful falls. We've only been there once, but we need to go back again. The last place that I've discovered in this area is the Farmhouse Cafe. It is such a cute little place. They have these water buffalo. There's a great little playground that they have there. It's really kid friendly, which I really love and appreciate in cafes. They have really delicious food and it's just such a cute and vibey place. Next region is East Auckland. So one of our favorite little beaches that we have ever found is called Karaka Beach. You have to kind of hike down to it, but it's more of a secluded kind of like, it almost feels like a little bay and it's just a nice peaceful beach that you can go and swim at and there tends to be less people and it's just a beautiful way to spend your day in the summer. Next thing that I love to do in this area is going to the St. Heliers or the Mission Bay Walkway all along the whole coast and it is just so beautiful and just such a fun way to get out and about. And then of course you also have to pair that with getting some delicious ice cream. <laughs> Another great thing to do in this area if you're interested is going to the aquarium. We've been there once and I probably won't go ever again just because of how pricey it is, but it is such a fun experience and I absolutely loved it. Another really great idea to do over here is the Iraqi Basin. It is such a good way to get out and get some sunshine and some movement and some nature. It's a big loop that goes around this whole little lake and it's just really beautiful. The last place on my list for this area is Bastion Point. So it's this kind of really elevated park that you can go up to and it has beautiful flowers and cool monuments and stuff and it also has a pretty beautiful view because it is so high up. So I don't want anybody to get angry at me, but I have created my own region. This is how I'm calling it, but it's basically all of the suburbs that are kind of around the CBD and I'm calling it Central Auckland. <laughs> First place in this region you have to go check out, of course, is Cornwall Park. It is just a beautiful green space park that has all these really old, beautiful trees and lots of walkways. A lot of people go there to go biking or to go running, go there with their kids. And it's just a really cool place if you learn a little bit of the history there. And so I can't recommend it enough, especially if you want to feel like you're getting out of the city without actually having to get out of the city. So if you're in this region, one of our favorite things to do is going to the Domain, which is just a really beautiful, well-kept up green area that has a lot of really big beautiful trees they have duck ponds and a lot of walkways through native bush in the domain you have the Auckland Museum which is free for an Auckland resident and it is just such a perfect way to spend a nice rainy day especially if you have young children because they can just run around you can learn some really cool things and it's just a really well done museum also right next to the museum, still in the domain, are the Winter Gardens. It's a really fun place to just give a wander and it's very beautiful and well kept up. Also in this region, you have MOTAT, which is the Museum of Transportation and Technology. Again, this is just such a great place to go to if you have children, they can run around, ignore all the cool things. You can maybe learn some things. Next, I have Western Springs. This is just a really large green space that is so fun to walk around. There's so many different tracks that you can walk and wander on. And in the center, they have this cute little pond that has like all these black swans and geese and ducks. And there's a bridge that goes over and there's just tons of eels. So it's just a really beautiful area. And then right in Western Springs, you actually have the zoo. We've never been there, but our son has. <laughs> He really enjoyed the rocks there. And then a couple of our favorite places to eat in this region are Duck Island ice cream. Yum. You can go and get a cone and it's really cool because you can order a single scoop. 
but it actually comes with two scoops of two different flavors. I love Duck Island ice cream, can't recommend them enough. The other place is actually an all vegan place. It is called Tart Bakery and I love it. There's a couple different locations. They have some of the best vegan donuts that I've ever tasted in my life. I love them so, so, so much. They also have really incredible pies and sandwiches. So if you're ever nearby one of them, definitely go give them a try. My next recommendation is just all the little mangas all around or all the little volcanoes. There's tons of them. Maybe my favorite is Mount Eden. It is just a pretty easy little walk up and it gives you such a beautiful view of the city center and just all the different bays and harbors around. The rest of my recommendations for this area is all food. So the first one on my list is Paradise. It's over in Sandringham and it is just some delicious Indian food. I absolutely love it. And I recommend going and sitting down and eating because they actually serve you the rice there and I think it's more food. Definitely try to sit down and eat instead of getting takeaway if you can get away with it. Our latest discovery is on Dominion Road. It's called Pudu Malaysian and it was so incredible. I can't wait to go back again. Next up is Ralph's. This is actually one of the very few places where I feel like they do the veggie burger better than the beef burger. And this is coming from our friends that eat beef and meat. They actually go and get the veggie burgers still the second time that they go. Last on this list is La Voix Francois. <laughs> I don't speak any French, obviously, but they have some of the most delicious pastries. On the weekends, the lines will like wrap around the building because they are that good and it is dangerous. Just how delicious and like fairly cheap. I love them. They have really good sourdough breads and pastries. We go there all the time, like far too often. Next region is the CBD. That has nothing to do with plant. It stands for the Central Business District. I will be the first to admit that we're not really big city people, so I probably am not the best source for all all of the really fun city things. I know that they constantly have all these different fun things popping up. They have different events and lots of concerts. So you definitely just need to kind of Google it and see what's going on at the time that you're visiting. But one of my very favorite things to do is just to walk around the city and get a good feel for it. There's so many different shops. It's a great place if you want to go thrift shopping. I love going down to the harbor and looking at all the really beautiful yachts and boats and stuff and just walking around and going into all the different arcades and everything. Like that, that's my number one favorite thing to do. Another must do is walking down K Road. There's a lot of things there like the thrift stores and some of the very yummy food that they have. Another thing that I love to do is going down to Commercial Bay. They have a food area on the upper floors. I have never gotten bad food from there. I just want to try everything and it's all delicious. If I had to pick one very, very favorite restaurant to eat at in the CBD, it would have to be Nam. It's Thai and it is absolutely incredible. I, I would eat there every single day if I could. The next region on my list is the North Shore and a lot of Aucklanders like to complain and say that it is so far away, but it is actually not at all especially if you're not going over the bridge at peak rush hour times. My first recommendation for this region is actually pretty much all of the North Shore beaches, which is a lot, but to try to narrow it down, a lot of people will recommend Takapuna Beach and I understand why. I think it's the prettiest. It has a lot of shells that line the beach, so it makes it really beautiful. And then the actual area of Takapuna is really built up and has a lot of fun shops and a lot of really good food. But for an actual day of just swimming and lounging at the beachfront, I actually recommend going a little bit further north up to Browns Bay or Long Bay Beach. Those beaches Beaches are just a lot more sandy and there tends to be a lot less people because a lot of the people like to go to Takapuna. There's also a really great pie place if you are going all the way up to Long Bay Beach. I think it's called Euro Patisserie. Another really fun place to go to if you're up in this region is Birkenhead Domain. Again, it's one of those really wonderful places that if you want to get out of the city without having to get out of the city, you just step your foot into the domain there and it feels like you are in a totally different part of the island. It's all native bush and it just completely encapsulates you into nature and it's just such a great getaway. We like going to Birkenhead Domain because it's kind of close by to one of our very, very, very favorite restaurants in all of Auckland that we have ever discovered, which is Mahi Kitchen. They have the most delicious curries, but if you go, I cannot recommend enough the Malabari Paneer Curry. It is so good. We have gone there so many times, even though it is so far out of the way for us, but anytime we go up to the North Shore, we make it a point to get Mahi Kitchen. 
There's so much to do up in the North Shore, but the last place that I'll recommend is going down to Devonport. It is kind of a pain to get to, but there's two options. If you go from the CBD, you can actually take a ferry up to Devonport, or you can go over the bridge, but you kind of have to go all the way down and around to it. But there's just a lot of really fun things that you can do there. So you can go up one of the mangas there, which is Mount Vic, and that gives some really beautiful views. You can also go up North Head, which is really fun because again, it's just a beautiful hike. There's actually a ton of World War II tunnels that go all through and around and in it and so it's really fun especially if you have kids to just wander and take your time and spend a whole little morning there. Also in Devonport there's just a lot of really fun things to do. They have a really cute little downtown. There's a lot of really good playgrounds and just fun things to do like the art studios and food. Last region that I have on my whole list is further north. So if you are really wanting to make a day trip of it there is so much to do up there that we haven't really touched yet but some of our favorites are Winderholm Regional Park. It has some beautiful beautiful beaches and then there's just some fun things to do there like a homestead and some walks it is a beautiful part of the country if you go a little bit further north there's also Tafar Nui Regional Park again this is just a great way to spend a whole day there are some beautiful beaches to go swimming at and then there's some really beautiful walks that take you all along the coast also in that area you have the Matakarna markets which a lot of people really really love if you go and you want just a really cute market to go to they have a lot of really good food stalls and it's just a great way to spend a weekend morning and that is it that is my super long list of recommendations of all of the fun places that we have found since we moved here a year and a half ago. Again, if I left anything off, please tell me in the comments below because there's an endless amount of places in and around Auckland. I always get so mad when people complain about Auckland being a not so great city because I think it's fantastic here, especially if you compare it to a lot of other cities throughout the world. So much to do and you can drive in pretty much any direction and find something so beautiful and it just doesn't have a big city vibe to it and I love it here. Anyways, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.